Tonight, the family of a Houston Army specialist, Vanessa Guillen, is joining the family of another soldier in a united fight for justice. Months after Guillen was found dead near base, the body of missing 23-year-old soldier Elder Fernandez has been discovered near a lake in Temple, Texas. You'll recall Guillen's family says she was sexually harassed, and the family of Elder Fernandez says similar crimes happened to him. Our Brandon Walker is live in our newsroom now with the latest developments on this. Brandon? Yeah, Chris, all of this as the call for a third-party congressional investigation gets louder tonight. I want to get to a live view now of a feed we are monitoring tonight from Fort Hood. As you see live here, both the family of Vanessa Guillen and the family of Mr. Fernandez are set to rally here in front of Fort Hood Military Base. Some signal glitches there, but they're speaking live as both families tonight push for answers. Two families forever changed by two stories of missing troops turned dead troops. And questions about how it all happened while under the presumed watch of Fort Hood Military Base. The family of Private First Class Vanessa Guillen today, as well as the family of Sergeant Elder Fernandez, continued their push for answers. Family laid Vanessa Guillen to rest earlier this month after her body was found buried in a shallow grave along the Leon River in Bell County in July. Guillen had been missing since April, and the Army says the man they believed killed her killed himself as authorities cornered him surrounding Guillen's death. A second suspect was arrested, accused of helping to dispose of Guillen's body. Guillen's family says she was sexually harassed and authorities at Fort Hood did nothing about it. Now she's dead and in a separate case, as is Sergeant Elder Fernandez. Police in Temple Tuesday confirmed a body found near train tracks was that of the missing 23-year-old. Before he went missing on August 17th, Army officials say Fernandez was a victim in an open investigation of abusive sexual misconduct and that he was transferred to a different unit so there would be no opportunities for reprisals. But Fernandez's family says that leaves too many questions about what happened, questions they and Vanessa Guillen's family say the Army needs to answer. And as we come back live here, a live feed from Fort Hood where the family of Vanessa Guillen, also the family of Sergeant Fernandez speaking in front of the base there, pushing for justice. Again, this as more people continue to call for that third party congressional uh, investigation, larger questions about how investigations are handled at Fort Hood. We are reporting live in the newsroom. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. Brandon, thank you. And